A lot of you guys are wondering how I set up my full body with face tracking on the Quest Pro. And Hakari and me, <clears throat> improper grammar, you mean Hakari and I. I'm sorry, Hakari and I are gonna show you guys how to do it. You know what? Let me guide them through the tutorial. I'll teach you guys. Oh. Yeah, go for it. All right, guys, I'm gonna guide you through this. You're gonna wanna make sure your developer runtime features are on. You're gonna make sure eye tracking over Oculus Link is on and also natural facial expressions is on. You're gonna go to this link in the description for the VRC FT app installer. You're gonna click download. You're gonna run the application. It's gonna load, it's gonna take some time. Give it, you know, give it a second to load. So when it's done loading, you're gonna go here to model registry and then you're gonna go to Quest Pro Open XR and you're gonna click install. It's gonna download the module for that. So when that's all said and done, you're gonna wanna just open the application again while you have the Oculus client running. Just click on the application, run it. Then on your heads up display in the Oculus client, you're gonna wanna make sure you just go back to Steam VR. That's gonna run in the background. It has to run in the background for it to work. Then when you go to VR chat, you have to make sure you have a VRC FT compatible avatar, especially now with the new 5.0, make sure you have a VRC FT 5.0 avatar. That way you get the full capabilities of VR chat face tracking. You'll see it right here within the expressions menu. You're gonna see the toggles for it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the toggles are enabled and then you'll be able to see everything and see your beautiful face in VR chat tracking wonderfully. And then just here's some demos. You can see here me messing around with VR chat face tracking. And now for the full body portion of the video, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you go to open VR space calibrator, go to latest releases, and then just install the latest release that there is for open VR. You're gonna to wanna to open that executable, let it run, click yes. For me, I have to update it because I was on, I believe 1.2 and there's already a 1.4. So I'm just gonna to update to that. It'll just update my uh, previous uh, file, everything will be good. So here you're gonna wanna click on the Steam VR, click on devices and then add controller. And then you're just gonna hold down the button till it turns on and make sure your base station's connected to the wall. That way when you turn on your tractor, it reads it. You're gonna go through your calibration process. But for me, it was slightly different because once I added two trackers, it didn't allow me to keep connecting them. So what I had to do was connect one dongle in at a time and then pair that tracker and then remove that dongle and then use the, a different dongle and pair the tracker with that new dongle and then do that again three times. And then once that, all, once that was all said and done, I then added all three of the dongles together and it allowed me to connect all three of them at the same time. And remember, just to connect them, you're gonna hold down on the button until you enter pairing mode. The light will blink blue when you're on the 3.0. And then once it's done connected, you'll the light will turn on green, and then you know you're good to go. Done, you should be able to see your trackers here. I'm just reactivating them so they show up here on the top of the display. And then I make sure I connect the tracker that I have connected to the controller that I have chosen to calibrate it with. And then I just do a simple figure eight, nothing too crazy. I do it in fast because I mean, I re it really doesn't matter. It tracks really well on fast. And then you're done, boom, your tracker's connected. It's looking smooth, all three of them all at the same time, all good. And then yeah, full body's basically done. Go into VR check, click calibrate, and there's your full body. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and properly set up everything. If there's any problems, please discuss them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as possible. By the way, if you can, I would highly suggest checking out my card.co link in the description below so you can check out my Instagram, TikTok. I go live on TikTok now. I don't want to turn around. About. Oh, oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Um, community's great on TikTok. A lot of fun vibes, fun games, fun chills. Also in my card.co, I would highly recommend checking out my Amazon storefront. I have links to all the equipment that I use on there, such as my base stations, tripods, camera, camera lenses, computer, monitor, everything that I use linked in there. And I would appreciate that very much.